caring for a pillow fluff, the essential guide to prospective owners. The first thing to realize is that amputee fluffies are incredibly high maintenance pets. You will need to make several adjustments to your living space, follow a strict routine, and give them plenty of attention. And even then, they won't be nearly as happy as any regular fluffy. However, keeping pillow fluffs is a rewarding experience and you should not be put off by the heavy requirements. TV is critical, so don't buy a pillow fluff unless you own one. You'll need the television on literally the entire time your fluffy is awake. After all, there's not much else for it to do. Fluff TV is your best bet, but if you want to hold off the requests for babies or fluffy friends until later, any other channel is good. Hooray! Fluffy loves this show. Fluffy's give best huggies. Daddy loves his fluffies. Fluffy's give best huggies. Visual stimulation alone is not enough for the fluffy. They need something to interact with. However, toys are a bad idea as they will cause your fluffy to become even more frustrated over the loss of its legs. An example of a good alternative is a selection of different fabrics for the fluffy to touch using its muzzle. <laughs> no to play with blockies. <laughs> Have time to wiggies. Diet is mostly the same as with other fluffies including kibble, oats, and maybe biscuits as special treats. However, unlike other fluffies, it is best to allocate spaghetti days just once or twice per week. Do not give spaghetti on any other day and do not give any other food on spaghetti day. This gives the pillow fluff something to look forward to, which helps keep them going emotionally. Uncle Daddy loves skitties. You may want to give your fluffy a taste of the outside world. Parks, particularly fluffy parks, are not a good idea. If you have a garden, you can rest them on the lawn for a while, though you need to supervise them as they are easy prey for foxes and raptors. If not, you can simply put them near a window for an hour or so each day. Do not attempt this if you live on the ground floor. Watching humans walk by from behind glass can bring back memories of the pet shop or shelter. Pretty! Thank you for take outside, Daddy. Remember to spend some time every day with your pillow fluff. One advantage of pillow fluffs over regular fluffies is that they are less irritable. You can rest the fluffy on your lap while you watch TV or read and will probably not be disturbed at all. Stroking, scratching, and rubbing are all encouraged, and that can be anywhere on the body, besides the private parts and the stumps where the legs used to be. Whoa, Daddy. Daddy and bestest Daddy in the whole world. Daddy, how long to Waggies? Don't be put off by crying. It's perfectly normal for a quad amputee. It can happen at any time. Though, it tends to be more common towards the end of each day. Episodes of crying are not like tantrums, where the fluffy is angry at the owner. It just means the fluffy is upset over its legs being gone. The best thing to do is keep the pillow fluff with you. Slowly stroke its back and speak to it softly until it falls asleep. <laughs> fluffy and dummy, no eggy fluffy. Well, uh, run and play and give huggies to bestest daddy. <laughs> Tantrums, on the other hand, are when the fluffy lashes out at the owner in frustration. This can be caused by loneliness, lack of attention, or simply not getting what it wants. To deal with this behavior, you need to remind the fluffy how generous you've been 
at how dependent it is on you. The best way to do this is to prop the fluffy up in its usual spot, turn off the television, and leave it alone for a few hours. No way, dummy daddy. Dummy daddy, keep waking now. Har oh, what the fuck? Your fluffy will need frequent visits to the vet twice or three times per year. Ideally, a fluffy specialist. Pillow fluffs can suffer from a multitude of health problems on top of what is regular for a fluffy, mostly due to the lack of any physical activity. Cancers, thrombosis, hypertension, and impaired vision are all major risk factors. On average, amputee fluffies live for five to seven years, half of the lifespan of a typical fluffy. Nice lady. Please don't give fluffy pointy out teeth this boy time. You should also keep a check on the fluffy's health yourself. Pillow fluffs often use their teeth to move objects around, so it's important you regularly check their dental hygiene. Amputee fluffies are known to enjoy baths, provided the water is warm enough, the water isn't too deep, and the owner is gentle with them. Once a week is usually sufficient, but if your fluffy enjoys bath time, then feel free to do it more frequently. Stumpy dance, stumpy dance. What we do the stumpy dance. In the bath, have some fun. Stumpy, stumpy, stump. Much unlike their four-legged counterparts, Bella Fluffs are always very nervous meeting new people, mostly since they don't have the option to run away if anything bad happens. If someone you know wants to pick up or hug your Fluffy, there is a strict procedure. First, they should introduce themselves, reaffirm that they are a friend of yours, give the Fluffy a treat, and then stroke or pet the Fluffy while it eats. Make sure you are always nearby when your Fluffy is meeting someone for the first time. Fluffy, I'm so happy. Thank you for knowing me, Daddy friend. After about three to five years, your Fluffy may enter a stage of chronic depression. This may present as the notorious Won't die! effect, but other signs are more common. Non-stop crying, oversleeping, wiggling its body, and not gaining pleasure from things it used to enjoy. Consult your vet if you encounter any of these symptoms. If your Fluffy has entered the depression stage, euthanasia is the only solution. So, most importantly, make the most of your little time with your Fluffy.